she started to straighten her hair. Honestly, I thought that looked much better on her. Have you ever thought about straightening your hair? Or perming it? Um, not really. Welcome, welcome everybody. This is A-Vision Entertainment TV. We are here with a live actress guest. This woman has about maybe 90 movies out right now. <laughs> She's doing big things. This is Nessa Noel. Yes. <laughs> and I'm, I made, well, I called you Vanessa because uh, all, all over Google, that's what they call you. But you said call you Nessa because you like that better. Yeah. <laughs> <All right. laughs> that's cool. That's cool. Um, so, so how are you anyway? I'm asking again. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. You know, uh, mm -hmm. it's been a rough two years. <laughs> ah, coronavirus, okay. but we're we're good. Yeah. I'm good. What What was you doing around that time? Like when the virus was was out here? Like were you still like you know right looking at scripts? So what were you doing at that time? I was pregnant, child. I was home. Oh, 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 oh okay, okay, okay. You just had one one child, right? Yes, I do. Okay, because I looked on Instagram, I see a, a couple pictures. There's only one, so that's mm -hmm. that's great. That's great. That's great. So um, let's jump right into it. Um, I love the movie. Number one, I love the birth of the sea. Thank that you. movie was was well put together and and beautiful. I love it. Thank you. Um, you you're welcome. You also have is it makeup to break up? Makeup break up. Makeup makeup break, break up. up. Yeah. Okay. And and better than my last. That's oh another yeah. One. <laughs> yeah. See, see, you got so many you don't even know. <laughs> you have to think about it. Um tell me okay. Now, how long were you acting? Like what was it around your childhood time or like when did you realize you wanted to be an actress? Oh wow. So, um I think it was around like 15 years old that oh, I wow. that I like I got the acting bug. Um I grew up in uh I grew up in Queens and my mom okay. put me in um she put me in this youth group when I was like around 15 years old because she was like oh you need something to do over the weekend or yeah. whatever so I was like okay whatever so we get I get to the youth group and mm -hmm. I realized they do like a lot of things they a lot of creative um activities so we had dance we had okay. um theater and I remember um do we did a huge play for like Easter and I was cast wow. as like Mother Mary. Oh, and, okay. 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 <laughs> and I remember being in the, the play and the um when my part came because it was a musical the uh play. Okay. And okay. when my part came, I remember having to do my um my 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 uh role and just walking down and okay. just like the way the audience reacted to my performance to wow. you know it just made me feel like that does something to you right yeah you know yeah. Like, i guess that's when the acting bug hit me i was like oh i mm -hmm. like this wow i love wow. it and it just it blossomed i just i did it throughout um high school and i didn't start doing it professionally professionally until like i was 21. so it's about it's been about 10 years now 10 years so this was at 15 when you first started Right. yeah well yeah <laughs> okay so so who, who was your who was your big inspiration you know um and who did you ever look at in the film industry as as a inspirer who was that um i think one of the first people that i seen that i was like ooh, i love her is um taraji taraji p henson oh okay okay i just okay. felt like it's just whenever mm -hmm. she was in a role she was just so like powerful yeah, and whatever yeah. scene she was and i was just like, i want to be just like that i want to be wow. commanding the screen when she cut when i come on like her. okay okay so so taraji was, was the one that you know really set it off for you yeah you know? <laughs> wow that's that's great that's great and i know a lot of people would like to know this also did you ever go to acting school and how long did you go through acting school so, um so you know some people kind of like they i did it the non-traditional way i guess you would say it's non-traditional i didn't go straight okay. into acting school i kind of oh, just okay. like dove right in i was like i want to be actor so i'm just gonna i'm just oh gonna so do it. It, this just natural it just happened <laughs> i wow. guess and you know some people 
they like to go to the school and then yeah, you yeah. know take classes and then i didn't do that i just jumped right in and it wasn't until like maybe i don't think i was like two three years in i was like i decided to take classes so okay. i've taken uh classes at wise baron studios um mark john jeffrey's acting classes i took auditioning in the room with vincent palumbo so okay. the, yeah so <laughs> but that came afterwards uh, i was already into it before i decided to like take the classes really? yeah so how, how many movies do you think you have like right off right off your know, mind how many do you think you have right now oh man <laughs> <laughs> because i i've seen about seven yeah like six, i can't six, even seven. begin to tell you i've done so many things there's even stuff that you you guys probably won't will never see <laughs> that i've oh, done because it didn't make it or something yeah like, you know how, yeah yeah but yeah i would say maybe like if i can guess maybe like 10 to 15 or more oh well okay and, <laughs> and which role that you played that you may like the most like what you played a role of like so many people which role did you like the most um so one which of character uh, one of my favorite roles, I like being cast um, as the strong, I like being a strong character. So one of my favorite roles um, that I did was I played a cop on um, oh, wow. a movie called Blue Flame. <laughs> okay. Is, is it out now where I can go check it out? It's, no, it's not out. But it was uh, a great experience. You wanted to see me, Cap? We have an officer that's in over our head. If I didn't shoot him, we'd both be dead. You killed another cop to keep your cover. I'm putting you back into undercover. Undercover? I selected your crew myself. Tough women, willing to do what it takes. Tomorrow's the first day of the rest of your lives, ladies. Wait, my own team? No men? The women are better cops. Tell me something I don't know. Being a female officer is not easy. It's like, damn, I know we live in a male-dominant world, but... Where'd you get in? I'm either babied because my father's on the squad or... I know. You don't like me working on the cover. My parents are really traditional. Let's just say I don't fit that mold. We were actually discussing a good match for Saha. Maybe you could find a nice Muslim girl for me. Being an officer requires a lot of sacrifice. So basically what you're telling me is you're going on call 24-7. You're going to spend even less time with me and the kids? I have a job to do. Oh, so you think you could run my name through the mud and not get dirty yourself? This shit is over. Stay the fuck away from my family. I just really need you to back me up on this one. Don't trust nobody. Just bring me in, please. Just bring me in. You come in now and Bold would die for nothing. Nothing. The minute you show weakness, Hello? you're being taken advantage of. I need to speak to you. It's about your husband. We got a problem. From this point on, this will be referred to as Operation Blue Flame. Bad girls, bad girls. You know, I knew I was gonna have a problem with you. We got this. You got it, right? Let's do this, ladies. I got to to um work with such a talented cast, and I worked with this amazing director called Boogie. Mm -hmm. And we got to speak to actual uh you know cops and just to be able to get into the role and it was such a great experience being wow. part of this um un ensemble cast so it was really fun it was one of my favorite roles to date it's funny because oh, it's wow. not even out but <laughs> well, it's something they, i really enjoyed doing why wouldn't they, i mean is it not finished or is just not they didn't put it out period like um uh, I feel, right now i'm not too sure because the way okay. um Usually behind the scenes, the way they work, stuff can be put on hold or they're figuring out what to, the next steps are with the project. So now, now do you have some steps right again? Say As I couldn't even tell you. <laughs> OK. And are you under any contracts? Because, um, you know, I would like to add some some clips inside this interview. So okay. are you under any contracts where they would like say, no, nah, you can't use that? Because I, I like to lose, use about maybe 10 seconds of, of something that you've done. So, the, so people can see. Yeah, I think you can. Okay, you just want to make sure because usually you know, if they're out and you see, you can put it up. Okay, well, well, that's fine. That's fine. And you said you're from New York. Are you from? Yes. 
Okay, fine. And how, how long were you living out there? Now, are, are you from somewhere else and came to New York or what? No, I was born and raised in New York. That's where I grew up. <laughs> I've now, been here most of my life. Okay. Are you Haitian? Yes. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, I got that right. <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> what else are you working on right now? Like, can you Ooh. tell me or, or you can't? Um, I can tell you a little bit. Okay, fine. <laughs> That's cool. So, um, I definitely filmed a Christmas movie. Okay. Uh, was it? It was this the winter of twenty twenty one. Uh, we finished uh, filming the movie. I don't know if you've seen the trailer on my um Instagram, but I put it up. I probably have. Yeah, it's I called Sister so. Scrooge. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. Last name Scrooge. Scrooge. Ebenezer Scrooge? Her sister Scrooge. Arthur, you don't get it, do you? This woman have your nose so wide open that you don't see what her little conniving ass is doing around here. Hey, to a nerd of fly. Two things you'll never have. His name and the complexion for the protection. You don't watch Lifetime? It's her. Kill you later. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> um, I do have a comedy that I will be working on soon that I'm very excited about. Um, I have I just signed on to do this sci-fi project, so I can't wait to for that to wow. uh, come about. We start, I believe, maybe this summer we start mm -hmm. filming, and then um I'm filming another series which is going to be in the fall so yeah okay 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 yeah so so you move you working huh <laughs> that's <laughs> yeah. that's wonderful that's wonderful Thank you. Yeah. What, what is the most challenging uh part and and making a film like what's challenging to you where it, it can kind of stress you out a little bit um i would say the challenging part will probably be the 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 amount of hours that you have oh, to wow. put in on set yeah oh, oh, okay 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 yeah. so, so is it like um while you're working, you have to keep doing a scene over and over and over again, it's like the same thing? You know, it all depends on the the director you're working mm -hmm. with. Yeah. Um, but sometimes, yeah, because and it also depends on how long you've been on set. Because I can't stay here. I'm like, oh, I messed up a line. I'm like, we got to do this whole <laughs> thing over and yeah. get it right. So it all depends. I would say. Okay. Now, when you go out. You know to have something to eat or just hang out with your daughter or your significant other do you get bombarded in the streets because they know who you are at times <laughs> no i'm not famous <laughs> oh, i'm not famous okay. <laughs> but, they, but usually okay because you know some people recognize you because of all the movies you have so mm -hmm. so well that's 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 a nice peaceful way to live you have to worry about that nonsense <laughs> you know but it's coming it's coming <laughs> Trust me. What what else do you like to do in your spare time besides um filming? Like what else do you do? Um, I just right now I just love spending time with my family. It's okay. it's you know, being a mom, it's one of the biggest uh most rewarding thing that I've ever gotten. So it's okay. always the the number one thing in my mind, just focusing okay. on my family, on my child, uh, my husband. So that's okay. like yeah, that's my thing right now. <laughs> well, that's that's great. That's, that's, yeah, that's awesome. That's awesome. Now, when when you go out and make and do these 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 roles, mm -hmm. do you actually um turn it off when you get home? Because I know when you play different characters mm -hmm. and then you get around your family, how do you uh how can I put it? How how do you uh manage to turn that role off and just be mommy? Just get with your your family. Like, well, usually it takes a while before I get home, so I have plenty of time of time to like just okay. simmer down. Okay. Usually, um, I remember the last role that I did; it was um, for the Sister Scrooge, and it's a role that was very extremely challenging because yeah. I'd never played that type of uh, character before, so I had uh, to like kind of be into it, real like. Yeah sort of method acting and i remember my husband came to see me on set one day mm -hmm. and he, he i walked in we had just finished a scene and, yeah. and i guess i was still in character and he looked at me he was like 
are you okay? <laughs> He's yeah. like, you kind of scared me. <laughs> wow, like, wow, wow, so wow. It, it, yeah, it's, it's usually you, you tend to like, just sit down. You just have to sit down and just take a breather and just like, all right, I'm, I'm Nessa now. <laughs> no longer wow. this, this person. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, see, because I, I asked that question because I, if someone ever wanted to pick me to do, to play a role, a crying role, I don't usually, I don't cry, so I don't, I don't know if it's going to be challenging for me because, you know, they, they just want you to start crying. How do you do that? Do you have to think about something that happened to you in order to start crying, or how does that happen? You just start crying, playing a role. Um. It's, I, I believe, I the way I've done it is I usually think of something like terrible. bad to happen. Oh, yeah. Wow. Okay. okay. <laughs> something okay. that's something terrible or whatever. This, this may sound a little like weird, but I probably no. make up a scenario in my head and it would get me emotional. Like, oh, shoot, what if that happened? Wow. I put it in my head and what if that happened? And it usually gets me there. <laughs> wow. See, I think it'd be rough for me. I, I can't speak to people. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, because I, um, I remember a scene on um, uh, the movie we just watched, The Seat. Um, let me go back to that. The movie we had just watched, it was it's called um, The Birth of the Seat. You were in the kitchen, and you were cutting up. You was making some food, and I think it was your the, uh, your friend. It wasn't your boyfriend. It was a guy that was in the kitchen with you. Yeah. And you start you started talking to yourself, and he said, "Are you okay?" And you turned around like, no, I, I was just reminiscing about something. Does yeah. that happen? Can that happen often? <laughs> like well, when you're around around certain people or just people, period. Thinking about your character and you go home, can you just do that often or just practice it? Practice it for a role. You know um, I, mean? I don't usually uh, do that <laughs> <laughs> in real life. <laughs> now, I, 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 like to ask. <laughs> I like to ask because it for me, it seemed like it, it can happen. I, I'm, I'm only... sure if somebody went through a traumatic experience the way yeah, um, yeah. Amber, the character, did, Amber, I'm sure yeah. it would. They would react that way. It, mm -hmm. You know, people grieve and grieve in many different ways, and this was obviously her way of grieving and recalling. Wow. Yeah, I think it's wonderful to to play different roles, different characters. I really do. You know, mm -hmm. it's which fun. role? Yeah, it looked like you, you had fun doing it, you know? <laughs> and so in the last movie, I think you played a therapist, right? Yes. Yeah, now that rule seemed like it's a little tough. You have to be serious about, you know, mm -hmm. talk, talking to these people. But which role have you have you loved the most? I mean, that you played and you really, really enjoyed that person. Which role was that? Was it a therapist or was it, you know, I think you said the police officer, right? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. That's the one you really enjoyed the most. Yeah, it was so it was badass. If I can say that, <laughs> it was okay. badass. It was you know she a powerful uh, character, okay. and I like that being you know a black woman. Mm -hmm. You wanna, I love seeing black women be portrayed as like strong character types, and it was just so fun to be her, to be in charge, and okay. to be this like badass cop. <laughs> Bobby, if you yeah. feel empowered, like you know, you you you're on top of the world right now. Yeah. And, wow. Well, that's that's wonderful. What is the best part of your work that you really love? Like when you go into work, what is the best part of it? The, the, you know, being when you get to set, that's like the best part for me. When um, like the process before it is like, all right, you do your auditions, um that part you're like all right i did the audition like now will i get the role oh, wow. and then yeah. it's always like all right you get the role and i was like all right anything can happen between you getting the role and then actually being on set and wow. then when you're actually on set it's like like yes this is i'm here i'm ready to get my makeup done get my hair done get into this character like wow. that's my favorite part just being on set <laughs> Did you ever get butterflies before you start oh and, yeah. and, and, and how, how do you how do you deal with um, being nervous around other people and, and having a script in your hand. How did you, how do you deal with that? Oh, I usually, I, I do this thing where I talk myself down. Like uh -huh. I'll, 
in like in my head, I'll be like, all right, Vanessa, you're here, you're here, um, you're gonna do this thing, you're gonna kill it. Mm -hmm. Just calm down, you're cool. Just and I have to tell myself over and over. I get butterflies all the time when I'm on set because I'm like, oh, I'm dealing with you know, there's other people on set and they're professionals. I'm always thinking like they're professional. I gotta yeah, be professional yeah. too. <laughs> Oh, yeah. If anything, you'll be you'll be asked to change about your work. What would it be if someone asked you what is it that you would like to change about what you do? What would it be? Mm, what do you mean, like? And anything. Uh, it can be you wanted to change a character. You wanted to do something different. Like if just the film industry. Period. Mm -hmm. If if you wanted to change, if you had to change anything, what would it be? Um, I would say to just what I would change is having more uh, people of color, black on people on black people on screen. That's Great. what I would change. Yeah. I'm, I'm very big into one of my favorite genres is um, fantasy. So I'm like into vampires and werewolves and, and witches oh, yeah. and stuff like that. And I'm just okay. like, it'd be cool to see uh black people in those roles like you know yeah, yeah. <laughs> because you don't really see that often like that no you know mm -hmm. so, so that's, that, what, that's what i would change i would bring more people of color to the front like hey we're here we could do it <laughs> but that, that that's great that's that's something to, to change you know that is can you sing can i sing no i probably could oh. when i was younger i could hold <laughs> i was like i cannot sing now Okay, okay. <laughs> well, I just want you to know you definitely play a great role. Um, I have to go and check out the rest of your movies that you have, Thank especially you. the uh, especially the one when the cop you playing the cop if that ever come back, you know, if it come out. So <laughs> that's wonderful. And you said you are working on something now. Yes, right? I have a few things coming up, so I can't okay. wait. <laughs> I know you're excited about it. I know you are. Okay, well that's that's wonderful. And um. Another thing I wanted to ask about the entertainment business, mm -hmm. just period. How do they pick a person to play that character? You said you said you had to go in and get and get signed up for the audition, right? Audition. Mm -hmm. Was there other people that was like almost better than not better, almost good as you? And how do they pick a character? Is it is it based on emotions? Is it based on how you really bringing that character out? How did they pick you? Oh, I, I couldn't even begin to tell you. Oh. It it just all depends on that person and what they're looking for. I couldn't okay. even tell you. <laughs> oh, that, that's a little that's a little hard, huh? <laughs> yeah, it's a it's it's usually a process. I remember when I um, I when I auditioned for the Birth of Deceit, mm -hmm. I was approached by the director, and he was like, "Oh, I want you to audition for the the lead role," and I was like, "Oh." cool okay and i remember um doing the audition mm -hmm. and when you're one of the scenes i had to basically to act like i was scared and it's like <laughs> how do you act like you're scared when there's nothing scaring you yeah, yeah exactly while you're exactly. doing it and i have to do this whole audition on tape and wow. send it and i must have done like i must have did like 15 takes um doing my self tape and i remember the last one and i said you know what i've been doing this for hours i'm just i'm gonna <laughs> send this one and i was like if i get the role i get it if i don't then i know i did my best i was like all right i'm gonna send it and then i sent it and literally like the next day i got a call that i got the i got the role and i was so excited i was like oh my god and then i remember the director saying like yo out of like 30 people 30 other um, people who auditioned you got it you got I the like, rule <laughs> i remember thinking wow, like wow wow <laughs> what, what, what were you ever turned down from a few roles usually yeah of course you know um i'm not gonna front it it does hurt when you are especially when uh certain roles that you see other people are playing you're like oh man audition for yeah, that yeah, yeah. <laughs> So wow. it's yeah, you know, you you don't always get the role. All, all the rules, right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, wow. What is the first thing you do 
to, to research and approach a role. How do you get yourself prepared when you have that script in your hand? How do you prepare yourself for that? Um, my go-to is usually I lock myself in a room oh. by myself, no, no noise or anything. And I'll go through the script. So I'll read this through the script first, you know, just to get a feel of, you know, the whole, whether it's whatever movie or series. And then I'll usually, um, I'll start when I, I see my, whatever my role is. And I go to them and I start like just writing down what I feel the character is, who the character is about. And I, I literally have scripts with like stuff written all over them. I'm just oh, wow. writing, writing, okay. writing. And then I'm walking around just saying the lines, how I feel it should be said mm -hmm. or whatever, changing it up if I feel it needs to be changed it up. So it's, it's a whole process for me. Oh, wow. I don't know you about other people, but yeah. You ever had a chance to write your own movie, your own mm -hmm. film? You, you ever want to do that? I do. I do. Hopefully uh, it's in the future for me. Mm -hmm. Are you working on something like that now? Or Kind of. <laughs> <laughs> How about a book? It seems like you, you, you would get into a lot of books. Do you ever write a book before? Mm -mm. No books for me. Oh, I wow. read books, but I, I, I haven't actually thought about that. Maybe oh, wow. you never know. In the future, I might decide to write yeah. one. <laughs> Hey, you, you, I think you will. And <laughs> what are some difficulties in the acting business? Um, again, I would say some difficulties is trying to being. I don't want to sound like a, a, a deadbeat horse. No, no, <laughs> but, beating on a dead horse. I don't yeah. want to sound like that, but like it's the role for for people of color. That is such right, a yeah, typical yeah. thing, you know. They say in, in um, diversity and inclusivity, but mm -hmm. it you rarely see a lot of people. And it's just it's a small amount. Like you can count on one hand how many um, black people or people of color that are in a row, you know. Well, and I wonder it's, why. Yeah, it's so hard. Yeah. Why? Why is it so difficult like that? Wow. You know, but when you look at People like Taraji, and uh, there's a lot of uh, black folks doing it now. Mm -hmm. You know, Viola Davis, I love her. Oh Angela yeah, yeah, Bassett. Angela Bassett, yeah, yeah, and and they like almost like the vets. Angela mm -hmm. Bassett is a vet. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you ever get a chance to meet any of them? No, but I wish I would. <laughs> wow, see, when when I saw you, you know, playing, I'm thinking, you know, you already there. You you you're going to make it. Trust me. Trust Thank me. Thank you. So you play a wonderful role. Every character is just like you you kind of ace it. It's like you take over. Like you know exactly what this character wants and, and you and you take over. You know, Thank that's wonderful. You. I appreciate that. Wow. So you never I'm I'm surprised you never had a chance to meet any of your favorite stars. Mm-mm. Mm. Wow. Wow. Well, how about a TV show? Do you do you have a uh, like a regular TV show? And I know you have a series. On one of the movies, I seen like a series. I forgot which one it was. Do you have a, a series also? Um, I'm trying to think because I've done a few, a lot of things. I can't remember off the top of my head. Oh, I do. I have um a series called Prospect Park series. Um, Prospect Park, yeah. Okay, Prospect. Park. Yeah, it's it's coming out um April twenty second on Black Oak TV. So it's a, a streaming platform where you can find uh, a lot of uh, black entertainment. So Prospect Park. Mm -hmm. That's wonderful. That's wonderful. And where do you see yourself in five years in the industry? I would love to see that I am a successful actress and just doing what I love. Mm -hmm. That's what I see myself in five years. <laughs> That's great. <Yeah>, i willing. <laughs> that's great that's great and and what advice will you give the, the young kids that want to start getting into the acting business um i would tell them to don't be afraid if this is mm -hmm. what you really want to do go for it um be careful of who you have in your inner circle when it comes to doing this because you probably meet a lot of people that are um maybe trying to take advantage and mm -hmm. 
you know, just using you for uh, clout, whatever, whatever yeah. have you, and just keep keep your head focused. This industry is cutthroat. It's yeah. you know, it's not for the meek. It's mm -hmm. you gotta have your head your your head on straight in order to do this. So so eventually it it is a cutthroat business just like everybody yeah. just like the music business all of that you know mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. what are some of your strengths in acting and, and as as an actress what are some of your strengths um well people have said that i'm intense <laughs> i can oh. be intense i um i'm good with improv improvisational skills so that's okay. what i've been told <laughs> Okay, okay, you go with that <laughs> improv. Okay. Yeah. Wow, that's 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 wonderful. That's great. And I just mm -hmm. want you to keep going. Don't give up. I don't care how rough it is. And I and I know you already know that, but mm -hmm. keep going because eventually you're gonna be up top. Thank Trust you. Me. you, will, <laughs> you will. Um what techniques do you use to create believable characters what technique do you use to create believable characters um so i'll probably do like it depends on the role so if i okay. have a role where i'm playing like a psycho mm -hmm. you know i probably do something where like the the character like twitches a lot or twitches. you know twitches, twitches like yeah. maybe okay. their eye twitches or mm -hmm. like her hand will probably twitch a lot or something like that just to show you that she is psychotic oh, wow. you know so it, <laughs> it all depends okay. on the role though <laughs> well how often do you get scary like scary movies like a scary role and not uh, that much and i like doing them to me i find <laughs> that i like yeah. doing them so it's not not that much, honestly. I want to yeah, keep doing it so anybody's hearing. Like, I love doing scary roles. <laughs> wow, wow, wow! What, what most do you? What do you like most about doing like doing a scary role? Like, is it is it so? It's because it's so dramatic, or like, what is it about it? It's, I guess, it's the fact that you're you're being somebody other than like completely. From yourself, <laughs> mm -hmm. okay, okay, okay. it's the like this person I played in Sister Scrooge is not me whatsoever, but to be able to bring that out, it was it was kind of liberating. It's like, oh shoot, I get to be, do this on screen like for fun. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Sister Scrooge, you guys don't think I'm a psycho or anything? I swear to God, <laughs> no. <laughs> no, you no, you you're definitely good. You play a good role, Sister Scrooge. Mm -hmm. um where can did you say that that is, is it out right now or it's where, not out yet that's right it you said be. it's not out yeah. wow because i watched the trailer you do have mm -hmm. a trailer about it and i really want to see it so i was going to come home and try to find it somewhere on uh i don't know to be but i know it's not even out yet so wow so you do have a bunch of movies some not out and, and some is out right now mm -hmm. can, can you go to youtube and watch the full movies or can you just go to like peacock or to be and watch all of your movies the ones that's already out um the ones that are already out uh i would say i know makeup and breakup they they're probably going to be on um bt her so you can watch it on there if you can okay. find it online um uh the birth of deceit it's on tubi yeah. and amazon prime video yeah. um what else prospect prospect park is going to be on a um online streaming platform black old oak tv which okay. you'd have to sign up for yeah and um also this series i did called asunder the series that's on amazon prime also amazon As prime video okay asunder asunder okay it's asunder the series you'll see it. that's the one i was i was saying about a series i knew I was oh. saying about a series. <laughs> that's what it was okay okay and that's coming out this summer that came out but, already oh, it's already out Okay, yeah. so I can go. I can go check it out then. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. okay. Now, I'm going to ask this because I know friends can can act a little funny after a while. Do you have any friends that maybe treat you a little not bad, but 
a little jealous because of where you are with with the filming and you always get work do you have any friends that you may have like issues with you know um no honestly no everybody's um, supportive they support you all yeah because you know what okay. a lot of the people i know we're in the same it it's a small it like within the black community it's small so okay. <laughs> you kind of know everybody who knows everybody and it's in a way we're all like supportive of each other so okay. you know i i haven't run into anyone who's specifically you know against me but if they are i wouldn't know so okay, okay. Well, well i just wanted to ask that because you know that's just real life stuff Pe people mm -hmm. can get like that you know of course I mean? of course that's what's it at 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 your i know you're not where you want to be but mm. you're doing what you love yeah how far are you willing to go as far as like movies that they want to throw at you do you do you accept all scripts or some you have turned down no i do not accept all scripts I okay. have turned down some. When I was younger, yes, because I wanted to be out there. I wanted people to see that I can do it. I can do this. So I was signing up for um, a lot of things and they didn't pan out the way I wanted them to. And some, some of them were some bad experiences, um, oh, to be honest. Okay. Okay. And nowadays it's, it's I'm focused more on I'm focused a lot more on my craft. Not saying that I wasn't before, but it's very important to me that I get something that is um, meaningful, that has, you know, has a good story and that, you know, people are willing to work hard on it. So, yeah, I, I'm very selective nowadays. Okay, well, well great. Well, great. <laughs> that's, well, that's well said also. Um, how important is developing a personal style when it comes to acting um to me normally we i've had um people who tell me this is how they want the style to be i've had it where um all right this is what they're wearing this is what they want the person to wear but i i am now finding finding that because i'm i am um working on something I mentioned it before. Yeah. Okay. So it is, um, I found it very important for me to, like when it comes to, to the style of the character, I feel like I want people to know who this person is by the way they okay. dress. And it, it also depends on the character and the role. Like if this person is a fashion designer, I need this person to look like she's a fashion designer. Like she yeah. knows what she's doing. So I, I think it plays a big role because I've seen in movies like if you see um who can I give an example of uh I'm trying to think like, like um another let me see um uh go ahead you, you can go out oh like um Viola Davis in how to get away with murder like her style obviously she's a lawyer so she's yeah. dressed up your, your, your phone, huh? Yeah, you're going in and you're going in and out, like I'm you just sorry. like, like you disappear, you disappear. I'm talking about the, the whole. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm so yeah, sorry. you just. Um, but, like, like my own, that you see a Viola, Viola Davis. Davis yeah. How to get away with murder? She's murder, very, yeah. she's a lawyer, so you see her dressed up in collared shirts, very nice fancy blouses, her shoes on yeah. point, and she's a obviously a rich lawyer, so she's looking the part. She's looking so the part. Like that, yeah. Do you have a lot of um creative control over what you do? Like, do they give you any type of uh lead way to kind of put something together where how you want it? Um, not all the time. Usually it's if it's like a big set, people are like, All right, this is what we want. Okay. Um, the last series that I worked in, they were we had a stylist, so we obviously we went over on what the character should be wearing. Um it was a very like it, it was not like um i had some say i would say okay. but for the most part they already had like something set as to what the character should be so okay it depends okay. it all depends basically mm -hmm. okay now um one more about the uh your, your film the music 
do you guys just pick ran, random people to, to have you know to have the music in the background or like the soundtrack basically or is it already set up where y'all have y'all have who y'all want to do the soundtrack or do y'all pick send out some type of email saying if you want to make music for this this uh this movie how does that work with the music that they play in the background or does the company itself have the music alone oh, you know, okay. some, some people have soundtracks and you know how, how do you guys reach out to people to do to get on soundtracks oh um well specifically for the birth of deceit i believe that um it was a lot of like searching for um music so it was like i remember the producers and and um the director were literally searching for music certain type of music for the movie and obviously it ended up working out because the ending the song for the ending of the movie was so dope to me yeah, like it yeah, sounded yeah, so yeah. so good <laughs> um i would say i i don't know specifically how they did it but i know that they were searching for it okay. i don't know how they end up getting the great music for it but uh <laughs> i yeah. would say they, they just contacted a lot of people but they got it done regardless mm -hmm. they did get it done yeah you ever become friends with any of the characters like do you know them like today do y'all call each other and hang out yeah okay. um it's like when you work on sets certain like sets like especially if you're filming for such a long time you guys tend to become like a little family like oh, wow. okay. <laughs> we wake up we eat breakfast together we <laughs> see each other on set um like sometimes maybe there's a few days we don't see each other because one person's filming more scenes than the other but we wake up we eat breakfast together we rap on set most of the time together and you kind of become a little family you sit down go to lunch together so yeah i have um a few friends that i can call today <laughs> okay, okay. yeah okay well good and what was the longest time you ever been away from your family just by being working on a, a movie what was the longest you ever been away? Uh, I would say about two, two weeks, two and a half weeks. I say. Oh, that's, oh, that's that's not too bad. I thought you were gonna say two months or something mm -mm. like that. Not that long. <laughs> well, ladies and gentlemen, we have the movie star that she's in the film industry. This is Nessa Noel. <laughs> Y'all have to go on YouTube. As a matter of fact, you you can stream a lot of your movies also. Correct. Yeah. She has a bunch of movies out um i've watched them i love them i still have to catch up on some more but this is nessa noel i thank you so much is there anything you would like to tell the fans before we get out of here um i would say uh, thank you for having me first and foremost i You're appreciate welcome. it um um i would just like to say uh thank you guys for watching me if you want to know more about me um you can always check out my website uh www I am NessaNoel.com, and you can always uh, follow me on social media, Instagram. I'm on Instagram mm -hmm. at I am underscore Vanessa Noel, Noel. and Twitter at I am Nessa Noel. So, wow. <laughs> thank you guys so much. <laughs> I thank you for coming on. I'm going to keep checking out your movies. I love them. I love your character. I love how you, you, you play these roles. I love that. This is A Vision Entertainment TV. We'll be seeing you. This will air on Xfinity Comcast Network. I'll give you all the dates, the time, and everything. And I thank you so much for that. Thank you. Okay? And I want to say, I'll see you next time. I'll see you. <laughs> all right. <laughs>